Hello, my name is Charlie Wright, and I'm a staff mechanical engineer here at TSI. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to make a percent outside air calculation using a TSI branded indoor air quality meter. Percent outside air calculations are performed in order to help determine if enough outside air is being supplied for a particular space or building. We will be demonstrating these techniques using the TSI model 7575 Q-Track. This particular model of IAQ Calc comes with a variety of advanced features that some of our other models of IAQ Calcs may not include, but the menu setup and user interface are identical to that of our other IAQ instruments. Having our data logging feature makes calculating your percent outside air value much easier as three separate measurements are needed. Our data logging capable IAQ calcs will log these three measurements and make the final calculation for you. In order to make a percent outside air calculation, we will need to make three separate measurements. Return air measurement, supply air measurement, and outside air measurement. Once this is done, these three measurements are then used in this calculation return air minus supplied air divided by return air minus outside air and then multiplied by 100. The percent outside air calculation can be done using either temperature measurements or CO2 measurements, but there are a couple of considerations when trying to determine which method, CO2 or temperature, is best for your application. For example, Using temperature measurements to determine the percent of outside air is not an ideal method in mild climates where the inside and outside temperatures are too similar to each other, whereas CO2 measurements should not be used if there are not enough occupy, uh, occupants in the space being tested to generate sufficient CO2 levels. In this demonstration, we will be showing the more popular of these two methods, CO2 measurements. Many of the TSI branded IAQ instruments make tracking these three necessary measurements very easy. To begin, click on Menu using the middle soft key. Arrow down to highlight Applications and press Enter to open this menu. I will then arrow down and highlight Percent Outside Air. That's our application and press Enter to open this application. Now we need to select the measurement to be used, temperature or CO2. For this example, I will select CO2 by pressing Enter when it is highlighted. From this screen, I can see the three measurements needed to make this calculation listed, outside, supply, and return. I will start by taking the outside CO2 concentration measurement. Let me first say that whenever taking CO2 measurements, it's important to keep the probe away from your mouth so that your breathing and exhaling does not influence the reading. For the outside air, once I am outside, I will just need to confirm that outside is highlighted on the screen. Then I can take a measurement by pressing the middle soft key that says measure. The reading appears immediately. Once inside, I select a suitable location to take my supply air concentration measurement reading. I press the down arrow to highlight the supply value, place the probe fully in the flow, allow a few seconds for it to stabilize, then I will take the measurement by pressing the middle soft key. Now I've found a return vent where air is exhausting from the room. I place the probe in front of the exhaust or return vent, arrow down to highlight the return value, and then press the middle soft key to take a measurement. This calculation can now be used to calculate the volume of outside air per person. You can then compare that value to the table in ASHRAE standard 62 to determine if an adequate amount of outside air per person is being supplied 
for a particular space or building. Thank you for taking the time to watch this training video on how to make a percent outside air calculation using a TSI branded IAQ calc.